You know, Jeff Fouts here, estate planning attorney, there are many, many different options in the way you can do estate planning. But basically, it kind of boils down to five, you know, basic areas, basic ways. And so let's talk about them. Number one is called spend it all. It's the most fun. Spend it all. Spend the last dollar and, and then on the last day let the check to the undertaker bounce. Now, while that sounds like a lot of fun, no one's ever going to do it. And you know why they're not going to do it? Because they're afraid of running out of money. So let's check that one off the list. The next one is called dying intestate. And that is where you die without any estate plan at all. So Here's the bad news. If you die without an estate plan, the bad news is that the state of Georgia and every other state has a plan for you. And I do not think you're going to like it because it uses something called the law of consanguinity that, law, that goes back to the Middle Ages and you're not going to like it. So let's mark that one off the list. The third option is a simple will, what I call an I love you will. Everything, here's the way it works. Everything goes to the spouse upon the death of the first spouse and then everything goes equally to the children. I love you will. Next is something, it's, it's a, some type of living trust, yeah, living, revocable living trust. So oftentimes it's just like a simple will, everything to the spouse and everything to the kids, except it has a probate avoidance wrap around it, except that's what people think, okay? But I've got some bad news. After reviewing estate plans for years, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them, here is what I can tell you it with, and you can take to the bank. Two-thirds of all revocable living trusts are not going to avoid probate at all. At all. Zero. Why is that? You say, well, Jeff, I've got a beautiful portfolio. It's a burgundy portfolio, and I got it downtown or at the Galleria, and I paid $500 or $5,000 for it. But you know what? It really doesn't matter what you paid for. It doesn't matter that the cross the front and calligraphy, it may say revocable living trust. It doesn't matter if you open it up and inside there on, you know, 24 pound linen paper, it says revocable living trust. It doesn't matter. And the reason it doesn't matter is because just because it says that doesn't mean it's going to avoid probate. People do not understand the interplay between titling of assets and the estate plan. So you can have an estate plan that says A, B, C, D, everything you want to achieve perhaps, and it do nothing that you want to achieve. Absolutely nothing. Okay, so I could tell you story after story about, I mean, just one that comes to mind, about a gentleman that left $50,000 to his daughter from the first marriage, and he had $50,000, and his will said, I leave $50,000 to my daughter, and how much did the daughter get? Nothing. She got zip. Why? Because he did not understand the interplay between assets and the estate plan. Okay, and it is very serious. And so if you want your estate plan to actually work, you need to, a plan that is going to be complete enough to accomplish what you want, comprehensive enough, but not overly complicated. And so those are the major options you have as estate planning. If we could ever help you in any way, like maybe reviewing your estate plan, let us know. Thank you.